back with the wall. So this little section you're looking at is what I would call my expanded trial. And I started up here with some sacrete and that was just not happening. If you notice, it's really grainy, sandy, gritty. And I went through a number of grout bags, experimenting with the tip size. Even when the tip was this large, which is like an inch, I could not get grout to come out. So that bag got tossed. Then I went to what I would call bag number two, or product number two, which was Quickrete. All the eats, sack read, quick read, whether it's Lowe's or Home Depot. I honestly think it's potentially the same thing. So I bought a 10 pound bag instead of a 60 pound bag, mixed a little up like I'm doing right here. And it seemed to be very consistent to this, what I would call peanut butter. Uh, you know, it still has uh, firmness, but uh, it's, it's got workability. And uh, I did a little trial in here and it worked fine. Came out of the bag fine. So I bought three 60 pound bags, mixed my first uh, batch up, and I ran into the same problem that I ran in here. It just would not come out of the grout bag. I don't care how thin I got it, to the point where it was like soup. And then the only thing that was coming out of the grout bag was water. Uh, spent uh, some time online looking around, finally came across another brand, which is escaping me from right now. But that's what this is, and I'm using this bag which is a tip that's about a little bigger than uh, about a little smaller than this and i've started to grout the uh, or whatever the right term is put the mortar in the brick grout the brick and that's what i'm doing now so more to come bag or at least that one batch that i did that i mixed up did about two Two lines, two rows worth of mortar plus the verticals, so the horizontal and the verticals. And not a whole lot of waste. So, what I will do next time is actually, so I came up to about right here where the old stuff was. So, maybe a line and a half for that batch. But what I will do on the next video is after I mix it, I'll show you. Stuff in the mortar bag, putting it in, letting it dry, because right now this is what I would call brushed, so it's all smoothed out. We get a better, better view. So you can see that uh, I went deep, not a whole lot of mortar, but uh, in terms of uh, the effect I'm going after is, you know, the bricks being quite pronounced, so maybe not even a quarter inch of mortar. But uh, like I said, on the next go around, I will uh, video the whole process of after the mix, filling the bag, squeezing it out because that's a mess, and then uh, troweling it with the joint tool, and then. Uh, scraping, brushing, and uh, smoothing edges out. So, definitely more to come. Person show, this is about my pace in terms of uh, quantity that I mix up each time because the mixing and the work time, set time. Here's my bag, I put an arrow on the bag so I know where my 40 plus 45 degree angle is so I can draw easily because once you start twisting the bag and filling it it gets uh, very disoriented very quickly I put a clip on the end so that when I'm filling it, it doesn't all come out so I'll finish filling this and then I'll move the camera so you can see me actually grouting. But now I'm going to move this out of the way. I've loaded up a bag, taken off the paper clip, and 
I'm going to step in front of the camera. So I'm just putting a pretty thin layer of That's kind of what I'm going after in terms of the look. You'll hear an occasional thud, which is some of the mortar hitting the ground. depending on how wet or dry I'm going to make this. So I have no idea how much is on camera right now. And I think I had a splooge. So I'm going to pause the camera for there until it's time to trial.